Hello everybody, Grace Snowblades, and we're back with more The Long Dark on the Antelope Mode. The mode that makes you feel like grabbing cattail stalks and shoving them into your eyes. So the last time we played, you guys thought I was a goner. A few of you did, and I thought I was a goner too, I'm not gonna lie. But damn it, we're still alive. And we have to continue moving because we have, we have full everything and it's the middle of the night. So, um... How do I feel about this zone? I actually like Coastal Highway. I'm not sure I can carry much more. It's pretty much the opposite of what we were just dealing with, in that um, Mystery Lake is all about like a you know a, a couple of structures, a little bit of wildlife, and that's pretty much it. Coastal Highway so, is so more hungry. like a ton of structures, a ton of wildlife. And you may get jacked. Um, what do I want to do here? I have 59 cattail stalks. I'm gonna eat a couple of them. We're still dancing with a really, really annoyingly low, uh, condition. Which is pretty normal for interloper. So it's not really, it requires light to break down. I hate you sometimes, game. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, boys. Gray's gonna go wider in the middle of the night. Is it light enough for YouTube? Um, yeah. I'll call this light enough for YouTube. Let's get the hell out of here. We don't have any scent on us, which is good. Three arrows down for the heat, which is pretty typical for me. What we're going to be doing, though, is we're going to be heading it down the way here, as they say. Let me go ahead and crouch so I don't break my legs. There we go. Coastal Highway is a great zone. If you are brand new to the game and you're going to plan, like, Pilgrim or something like that, where wildlife doesn't jack you in the chiclets, this is a fantastic, a fantastic zone because there's so much stuff like you can't get lost in it as long as you head toward the water and the shoreline you're gonna find something like you can't you can't get lost it's fantastic for that reason oh wolves you trying to howl at me you must be crazy there's a couple of shortcuts you could take but I figure I would walk around the the main kind of walkie area here just to show you guys some stuff I know one of you guys is like, why don't I, um, speed up some of the walking when I don't have much to say instead of cutting it out? I always feel weird about, like, speeding stuff up. I don't know if that makes any- Whoa! Shit! Where the hell? Okay. Alright. Yep, you win. You win- wait a second. Are you on the other side and you can't get up the hillock there? Or can you get up that? You can totally get up that hillock. Okay. All right. That's fine. Gray's got to take some evasive maneuvers. No big deal, boys. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Oh, this is this is absolutely lovely, isn't it? Just kind of head down the sheer wall. No big deal after all. Gray knows exactly what he's doing. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Screw you, wolf! Every once in a while, I like to uh, litter my gameplay with tips now and again. One of the tips I have for you is if you want to get down away and not break your legs, there is a wolf over there, so we're gonna have to get inside this trailer pretty fast. Actually, screw it, I'm running. If you wanna head down a hillside without breaking your legs, just go ahead and crouch. It usually works. Air quotes, usually. Um, it's definitely better than just straight out walking. All right, so, Mr. Trailer, that is, that I now have to search in the friggin' dark for things in. How are you? How are you doing? I'm so hungry. Yeah, I know. I know you're hungry. But there may be something inside this plastic container. Of course not. There may be something inside this crate. Nope, nothing there either. Well, this was fortunate. We managed to find a grand total of nothing. One of the things I definitely want to do this episode is I want to get to the, um, the what you call it, the big place with the stuff. Don't you pick up on me, Wind? You know the place. You know the one. The one with the thing. The, um, what the hell's it called? The kid, the quinoa freaking gas station. The kinesat or whatever, the quinoa. Ugh, you boys like quinoa? I do. How are we doing? Um, you know what? We may be able to sleep for a little bit. And that might not be absolutely terrible. Let me go ahead and turn this off real quick. Let me eat, like, another... Now, you can eat and then hit the escape button and you won't eat everything. Which is kind of nice. Let's see if we could sleep for two hours. And get a little bit closer toward daylight. Probably not. I hate playing in the nighttime though, because it doesn't always make for good YouTubing. Alright, how we doing here? Uh, nope, still dark as hell. Well, it's 
I'm getting less dark, I guess. We could probably even sleep for another hour. Um, you know what? Why not? Go ahead and finish up that one cattail stock we had. It should have like 80 calories in it or something. Uh, yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Normally you want to sleep as much as you can in one chunk because you get uh, additional condition back when you sleep like that. So this isn't the most efficient way to do it. It's just a way for me to do it and maybe get some light outside for us. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Well, I hope to get the hell out of here. There might be a wolf right outside. All annoyed at us. Doesn't look like it. Well, it doesn't sound like it, I'll say. No? Okay. Looking good. And the sad music begins to play. What is with the sad music all the time for me? Wasn't there another... No, I, I must be looking at a different one. I felt like there was another trailer over here. There's so many trailers in this zone and houses and structures and stuff. I get lost every once in a while. Well, I know I just got done saying that you can't get lost. But what I mean by that is, like, you won't find yourself wandering. Like, oh, no. Where's the next place where I could find shelter? There's so much shelter that you really, like, there's usually shelter within a five-minute walk of every place you could possibly go. So you don't have to worry too much about that. See how there's, like, nice to find roadways? That's kind of nice, too. Still three arrows down. As always, I wouldn't have it any other way. But I think we're going to be just fine, boys. Keep walking over here. All right, we're starving a little bit. I'm going to let us starve. I'm a gruel man. Jennifer, you can starve. For the meantime, I'll fix you in a little bit. I'm getting Before weak. Oh, you're going to be just fine. Let's keep moving. In fact, let's do a little bit of running. Use up some of our stamina. Now, when you run, it does alert wolves. Just like when you crouch... You can really, really trick a wolf when you're crouching. You can get damn close. Uh, closer than you think. In general. Hold on here. Take it real quick. Yep, see, there's the there's the frozen pondy goo. Well, pond. It's it's actually a uh, salt water, a body of salt water. So, but that's... If you find that, there's a major road there, and you can follow it and find tons of structures. Again, not great for us, because there's also tons of wolves. But if you're playing on Pilgrim, the wolves run away. Some people were saying that they tried to play and they found the game really, really hard. Play on Pilgrim. Everything's easier on Pilgrim. The temperature's uh, warmer outside. There is a ton of loot everywhere. Just loot as far as the eye can see in all directions. We're about to get pretty cold over here, so I'm going to go ahead and eat a cattail stalk real quick. It doesn't warm me up. It just keeps me from getting the double uh, penalty. It's warmer, the weather is better, and I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that if you play on uh, Pilgrim, you always start inside. Or at least I've started inside. I was messing around on Pilgrim to really kind of see the difference. Look at that deer right there. We could jack that deer up. Hmm. We'll come back one day, maybe in the daytime. Well, yeah, we'll come back in the daytime. Maybe I can use my magnifying glass. Over here... Is this the fishing camp or the logging place? They always look so similar to me. I can never really remember. Ah, that's the log sort. Burn down building. That's unfortunate. Usually there's one good building over here. Yep, there it is. Sad little trailer. That is boarded up. We can't get inside. There's usually a wolf that spawns right on the other side of this over there. Sometimes there's a bear over there too. You gotta be real, real careful. There we go. Should be nice and not freaking freezing inside of here. I told you, man. Structures galore. In Coastal Highway. Structures galore. And if you're looking for cloth and stuff like that, if you have the hatchet or the uh, Actually, I think you may need the knife. Hunting knife. If you have the knife, you can break down those bedrolls. Sometimes people are like, Ray, you were searching for a bedroll forever. There's bedrolls everywhere. You can't. Those aren't the bedrolls that you can use to sleep in. The only thing that you can do is rip them apart and use them for cloth, sadly. Trust me, I'd love to. A bedroll is one of the things I'm always so annoyed at trying to find. Because I can never find it. There is a lot of scrap wood for you to get in Coastal Highway as well. All right. So far, well, I was going to say so far so good. We haven't found jack crap, but we're not doing terribly. I wonder if it's light enough. Hold on. Because the sun is sort of coming up outside. Can I break this down yet with my bare hands? Nope. Requires light to break down. All right. You friggin' scumbag. Um, let's see. We may be able to sleep for one more hour if I have a tiny little cattail stalk right there. That's enough. 
All right, let's go in bed here. Yep, one hour. Let's give it a shot. See if we can sleep. See if the sun is up when I wake up. That's going to make her job a lot easier. And like I said, it's just a lot better for YouTube. Especially depending on the brightness of your monitor. Like, I keep things pretty bright. I'm going to go ahead and break this down now. We easily have enough light to break this down. There we go. Yes. Good. Good. We also have plenty of water. I think we have a can of soda, too. I need to drink that can of soda. You can bust down shelves with the heavy hammer as well. Three hours to do it. Just depends on how you want to spend your time. For right now, I mostly... We're going to do probably a couple circuits around this place. You'll see. I like to run back and forth and all over the place. Oh, you're going to be just fine. Everyone can starve for like seven days before they get really, really out of whack. There's usually a person and or a deer out that way. But again, one of the things I want to do is get to the gas station so I can drop off our friggin' loads and stuff like that. We're carrying a lot of crap. If I could get rid of a lot of it, that'd be fan freaking tastic. Oh. You crows. You know. You know that you haunt me. Now, the other thing is when you walk on the road and run on the road, you move faster. Than when you're on the snow. Look at how fast we move, man. It's freaking awesome. Sometimes you can hug these um, these stones over here, and it will kind of shoot. I'm getting cold. It'll kind of shield you a little bit from wolves in there, have you? There's one of the islands out there. We are gonna go to that island. That's Jack Rabbit's island. There's Misanthrope's island over that way. Lonely little cabins on both islands. Very cute places. I like them a lot. Only sad part is there's no um, there's no crafting station out there, which kind of blows. How you wolves doing? You wolves doing okay? Eh, they don't look like they're out in full force quite yet. By the gas station, there is always a freaking balls ton of wolves. So I hope you boys are prepared for that. There's usually wolves down by that busted up area right there too. In fact, let's go down here. It's YouTube. I do what I want. All right. Now let's be cognizant here. Be very careful about what's up. All right, nothing on the water. Looking good. Let's go ahead and navigate through here. Not too shabby. Got a little bit of wind chill. I'm going to go ahead and eat another cattail stock. I told you that eating these cat... I told you to go through these, through these things quick, man. I freaking told you. We got a car over here. We don't have a pry bar yet. It's actually one of the items we have yet to find. Uh, okay, so cars. You can open up the hood. There's never anything in it. If you guys have ever found anything, let me know. Oh, hey, 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 candy bar. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Shooting guide, kind of useless. Again, we don't, we're not going to use any shooting. Uh, one of the things that you can do inside of here, though, which is kind of sweet, go to camp craft. You can rest in here. Sometimes it will bring it, because it gives you a little bit of warmth. Sometimes it will bring the car above freezing. Obviously not this time. It is like records level of cold outside right now. All right, Trunk, how you doing? Nope. Freaking can't pry it open. All right. It's all right. One day we'll get ourselves a pry bar. One day we're going to get it. Now, once we get past here, I'm going to start worrying about picking up. Once we l unload, I'm going to start worrying about picking up sticks and branches. and all Well, not branches, but mostly sticks and stuff a lot more. And breaking down a lot more furniture and stuff. Um, but we definitely want to offload as quick as possible. Now, there's a few ways that we can approach this. Because we're starting to get close to the gas station. First way is... What was that? I'm gonna grab this. First way is we can crouch and we can head up to it. Second, now that takes a long ass time. It does. But you, you can stay relatively safe. There it is right there. There's a, little, there's, there's a little house over here usually. And usually not any wolves around this backside. Air quotes again. Ah, the old air... Wow, there's a lot of sticks over here. Okay, I said I wouldn't really... Let me holster this crap. Oh my god, it's our freaking thingy. I gotta grab some of these. There's so many sticks, I gotta grab them. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Good, good. The emperor is pleased with this copious amount of sticks. Um... You hear that? You boys hear that? Thought I heard something. Let's go ahead inside of this real fast. Thought I heard something walking around, you never freaking know. Now, this is a house that could have things, but more important than things, well, things are still important. 
But also important is we can get some freaking curtains in here. Oh, mother of God. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tear down the curtains now to get more light in here. Yes. Oh, give me that cloth, baby. Oh, we're going to do some repairing up in here. It is going to be freaking hot. Hot to trot. Oh, I love this freaking zone for this. I told you, man. We were so beat on cloth for so long. And now that we're close to all these structures, I'm going to let myself starve the rest of the day. We were so beat on cloth for so long. I'm so happy to get all this cloth. Hold on. I'm going to search the rest of this in a minute. I still want to get more of this. I see some things in here, too. See some things. There we go. All right. Now we have enough cloth for me to feel good about life. Let's start searching. Sometimes you can get a piece of food inside of the fridge, of course, not me. But, oh, Summit Soda. Summit Soda, how are you? Okay, Summit Soda, I like that. I like that, let's get down low, because you never know. Sometimes something inside the microwave, not today. I found cups of teas and stuff in there. Also, be very careful, because there will be things inside of these open cabinets. I know I say stuff like, be careful, and then I miss, like, very obvious things. But, uh, do as I say, and not as I do. You know how it is. I don't always practice what this I preach. Ooh, that's big. Tin of coffee, that's five cups of coffee for us. So good. Which means that we're gonna be able to get our cooking up as well. There's a fire barrel inside of the Kinwa gas station. I'm just gonna call it that from now on. I think I just missed one of those. Uh, no, I didn't. There's a, uh, there's a fire barrel in there that we'll be able to use to, um, get some stuff done. And depending on if it's nice enough outside, we may be able to make a fire with our magnifying glass. Let us continue onward. Oh, yeah. How about you, Mr. Table? Do you have anything for Gray? Nope. How about over here? Anything of deliciousness? Negative. We can bust down this bench if we want. You get some cloth there as well. Um, and then sometimes there's something like right in here, but there doesn't appear to be today. I'm pretty sure I already checked. Oh, no, I didn't see that right there. Could be something integral. Another. Oh, okay. There we go. Candy or candy bar and, and a can opener. That can opener is very, very, very big. Uh, Ooh, 27%. I'm going to eat this tonight for sure. Well, I'm going to try and remember to eat it tonight. Let's continue pushing upstairs. This has been a fantastic place. Man, that can opener is a big find for us. I might break that chair down. I might break both of these chairs down. Big find for us. Another book and a couple herbal tea. Very good. Can opener. Uh, remember, if you have to smash a can open, you can lose up to, I think, 30% of the contents. What a pain in the balls, right? Can you believe that? I would lick that stuff off the freaking ground. I'm going to tell you something. If you're starving... Don't be sitting there telling me, oh, that's disgusting, Gray. You would eat it off the ground? You're damn right. Oh, hold on. Hope nobody needs this anymore. No one needs it, Jennifer. Now you get two pairs of socks. Anything underneath the bed? We're starting to move a little bit slow now. A little bit sluggish. Boys know how it is. Tons more curtains. And all of the curtains will, in fact, be ours. And the toilets are good for water. Let's go ahead and grab it all. Because this is water that we don't have to boil. Sometimes there's stuff inside of here. Make sure to take care and look inside of the tub. Okay. I found... Oh, wow. Those are good. Okay, those are good. Hold on. The wool socks are very good. They're in craptastic condition, but we're going to be able to fix those right up. Man, I cannot, I cannot believe this house. This house has been spectacular. Spectacular. More cloth. All right. Everything in here good. Every once in a while, you can find sewing kits and stuff in there, so you don't want to miss it. You can break down the towels as well. Um, do I want to break all this down? How much time do we have left? Man, we still have plenty of time. I'm going to break all these down. I'm going to break all these down, because if I don't, I'm probably going to regret it. I think you only get... Oh, you get two pieces over here as well. Yeah, baby. Rip it up with your bare hands. Sometimes I wonder, like when you bust down the chairs and stuff like that. I think it said it takes 45 minutes to bust down a chair. The other day, I had to bust down a bed frame, but I had a chainsaw. I was really surprised at how long it took. Sometimes I see the 45 minutes and I say to myself, man, I feel like that's actually very generous. Oh, I can only bust this down with my hammer, huh? That's odd. Um, that's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. There we go. And we're going to bust this one down, too. Got to use the hammer here as well. We need something to drink in a second. We shouldn't be thirsty, though. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and grab a drink. This will get rid of some of our weight as well as it often does. All right, boys. Let's go on to the next one. 
one of the things that you can do if you're going to cure stuff is you can drop it on the ground when you're in here doing stuff. Because we probably burned like an hour just messing around in here, lollygagging and stuff. So I could have cured things like a percent. Okay. All right, looks pretty foggy outside. Now, foggy usually means that it's not as cold. I have found a candy bar in a mailbox before. So I will check inside the vehicle. We got lucky last time, man. We got real lucky last time. Now, some people have said they found things in here. I and a bunch of other YouTubers have never found anything. Oh, I wonder what the temperature is in here. Hold on. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do at all. That's not what I wanted to do either. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, so you would be at zero degrees in here. So I think at zero, though, you still technically freeze in this game. So I think you have to be in the positives to get anywhere. All right, nothing there either. How about the trunk? Nope, trunk needs a private. All right. All right. Now this is usually where wolves will jump on you. They're usually right on the other side of the gas station. So... This is where we're going to be a little bit extra careful here. You didn't miss anything. It took like a minute and a half. I only went like 10 feet. Well, I just wanted to get over here to this car so we can check it right quick before we hit the gas station. I'm going to crouch my whole way up. It's not worth possibly killing myself just to go a little bit faster. How about back here? Anything good? Oh, that's cool. You stay crouched after you leave. I didn't, I didn't always know if you did or not. Are you freaking... Ooh, look at this trunk. Someone didn't lock it. Or they didn't have a lock for their trunk. I don't know which it is. All right, boys, here we go. This is it. All right, there's the door. You think we're, uh, you think we're close enough to run? I think we are. Ready? Let's do it. Freaking do it. Run, 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 run. Yes. Yeah. Welcome, boys, to the Kinwa gas station. First things first, let's get all this crap out of our freaking backpack. Uh, these are cured, so that's pretty good. We do have a bunch of pelts, as well as some fresh pelts. Uh, and then our saplings. Okay, very good. What else do I have in here that I don't need on me right now? We don't need these tools. We do not need this much freaking lantern oil. Uh, I'm gonna keep this and this. These torches, we don't need that one. That one's craptastic. We don't need this many whetstones at the moment either. Uh, no, we don't need this many freaking sewing kits at all. We don't need the field guide. I'm gonna keep a couple of books on us. Because I might use them. Uh, let's see over here. We have some cans of soda. Cans of soda. Freaking look at how heavy they are. A fourth of a kilogram for a can of soda. I guess that's pretty accurate though. All right. What we're going to do before we start messing around with our clothing. Actually, you know what? We're still a little bit encumbered. Hold on. Let me just do the rest of this real fast off camera. All right. We're good. I dropped enough stuff. Um, what I want to do is just check this place for any additional clothing. Because I don't want to have to spend a lot of time repairing the clothing that I have right now if we end up finding something better anyway and then I have to repair that so instead of uh well to be fair I mean you could just want to get your repairing skill up I guess look at that more mittens but I think those are the exact same mittens that we have to be fair but you never know could have been the wool ones actually I don't know if you get the wool ones in this uh in this version of the long dark mittens and stuff like that man when I used to play that is there something over there quality tools how do you like that um Again, we're not really going to be tooling it up that much right yet, but I guess it's cool to have. Let's go ahead and drop that. The big difference that I found from quality tools or regular tools is the quality tools are a little bit lighter. That's it. That's legitimately, I think, the only difference. Maybe it gives you a better opportunity for repairing. I really don't know. Let's continue searching over here. Again, you may be saying to yourself, Gray, why don't you just eat one of your candy bars right now? Why don't you stop starving? I'm telling you, man. Food goes friggin' quick. And I played the interloper mode enough to just, just keep what I got for right now. Plus, we're going to get a good night's sleep tonight. A good night's sleep, if I have anything to say about it. So, we're, we should regain quite a bit of our condition. Also, if you ever want tinder plugs, not that you really need them, now that you can get them from sticks and stuff like that. There is a ton of boxes around here that you can jack. Usually, there's a, a can of Pinnacle Peaches under there, but it's not real. It's fake. Although... The game is trolly enough to put a real one next to the fake one. So always double check anyway. Sometimes there's stuff behind these cardboard boxes as well. So never feel feel bad about ripping them apart. Anything down here? It's a little dark down here, actually. Let's check out inside these drawers. Sometimes there could be... Look at that. Freaking more lantern fuel right there inside the drawers. Plenty of drawers here. A lot of times you can find um, candy bars and stuff in here as well. Wow. I 
Don't think I ever found a pre-made arrow shaft in an eloper. I, seriously, I don't think I ever have. That's kind of cool. I didn't know those existed in an eloper. Okay, another lantern? You gotta be kidding me. Talk about the luck. Although, usually, usually people say this is where they find their lanterns at, over here in the gas station. I don't always get so lucky on an interloper. Sometimes I go forever without finding a lantern, and it sucks not having a lantern. It sucks, man. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do at all. So we do have some snares prepared. Well, we have one snare prepared. I may even make a second or even a third one so I can put a ton of them over by Jack Rabbit's Island. I think I can use this. Antiseptic. Super heavy. Not very useful because we do have old man's beard lichen. Now, sometimes you got to be careful because there is crap hidden all over the place in here. Uh, not that I'm finding anything. That is a busted up can of soda, not a real one. You got to watch out. Little, little fake ass cans of soda. Posers, if you will, be laying around. Sometimes there's stuff. See, there's something right there. See it right there? There's stuff on those shelves all the time. Let's go ahead and check this medicine cabinet. Um, now the toilet's gonna have more water, so let's go ahead and grab it. This way we, we don't say to ourselves, Did I grab that water last time? Man, I can't believe all these lockers have been not unlocked. Usually I come in here and it's like, locked, 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 screw you, gray, locked, rot, locked. But not today. Today things are going pretty damn good. Um, nope, nothing in there. I just like to double check. Now that is a candy bar? Yep, little candy bar right there. Alright. Let's start messing around. That's just a cardboard box. For some reason, I thought that was a real box. Can of sardines. Nice find. That looks like a fake can. It is. That is not. Now, pork and beans is a real good find. I think that's... Is that 500 calories? I think that's 500 calories. Um, I may break down these boxes just to see if anything's behind them now and again. I can't remember ever finding anything inside the register. On non interloper I found uh, paper matches inside of the register. So... I, I was not so lucky on this day, but I have been more lucky in the past. All right, so we did pretty good. We got a lot of stuff. Um, we got a lot of stuff, actually. We, we made out pretty good in here, and there's another lantern and stuff like that. You know what? I'm going to grab this, this gear. and I'm going to put this over here just because then it'll be over here. Uh, this one's in crappy condition. How much fuel do you have in you? Uh, not a lot, so that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and drop you. Bloop. There we go. All right. Now it's repair time. Uh, our energy's looking a little crappy. No, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let us get a nice long rest. I'm not going to worry about it. Is that like a chunk of crap in the ground? Yeah, that's just the ground looking sad. All right. While we still have light, let's freaking do this. Over here, check all of our items out. Yeah, everything needs to be repaired. Everything needs to be repaired. Oh, this is, this is so fortunate. That we got all those clothes. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Before we do this, I'm glad that we failed. Right now, warmth bonus, 5-1. All right? Remember those numbers because watch how much difference this makes. If I can actually get this to not fail. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I told you. We can start a fire damn near anywhere. But trying to repair a wool scarf, that is too far. Why am I not wearing the hat? Oh, I bet it's because I put it on last time, but then I saved the game. Or I didn't save the game. I probably didn't create a save mode or something like that. I didn't go out and come back in. Here we go. Uh, 67%. Not good enough, damn it. More. Remember, five and one. Let's see how good we can do from this. Repairing is so fulfilling to me. Because, like, we had such terrible equipment for so long you have no idea our equipment was just hammered crap and finally finally we get to repair all this and it's gonna be so much better you guys just wait and we're getting tired that's excellent let's go and repair this you can see it's starting to get pretty late now this is why i want to get my repairing in i'm gonna have to take a drink in a second here and like i said this is also good because it's wearing us out and I want to be nice and tired when it's time to go to sleep. I may even break down. Well, I may make some like old man's beard liking or something like that. All right. Let's continue over here. 87%. All right. Let's move on to other stuff that's pretty beat up. Um, 86, 86. How about those socks? Yeah, right over here. The socks. Let's get those done. See how quickly we're chewing through our sewing kit too. We're almost out of daylight. Uh, 99% sweet. That's what we're already at seven and four. Do you see that? That's how that's how much this happened. That's how much it matters uh, Let's go ahead and put these better ones on 
These shoes over here we can finally repair as well. The shoes don't really do too much, but they do a little bit. They also give you the least amount of crap. We failed. And we don't have any more leather. All right. I didn't... I really did not want to fail that. These are slightly better. So let's go ahead and wear these. And we'll try and repair them the rest of the way. Uh, nope. Can't do it while in the dark. All right. So we're in the dark. We're fairly tired, but not super tired. So what I'm going to do is... Can I do anything here? Am I allowed to break these down in the dark? You can't break down a cardboard box in the dark. That right there, boys, is some GD bull crap. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of camp crafting if I can. Get some sleep. I'll see you boys in the morning. All right, boys. Brand new day. Here we are. Let's go ahead and finish repairing. There's no reason not to. Like I said, every little bit of repair that we can do for ourselves is just going to help us in the end. I'm really glad that oh, uh, I could eat a horse. That one chocolate bar got down to like... Uh, Man, what was it at? It was at like 18%. That's... Eh, that's a little scary, actually. I'm gonna... You know what? There's no reason not to repair all of this. Because we, we're gonna have so much cloth, we're not gonna know what to do with it all. And it's gonna help. It is going I to help. I if I don't get food So, soon. we're at 8 and 4 now. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Um, You know what? Screw it. I'll get an extra 13%. I don't care. Or not. Or not. Come on, sewing kit. Give it to me. You know you want to. You know you want to. Right there. Right there. All right. Still eight and five. Um, the long johns. Uh, you know what? Let's do the jeans. Why not? We're going to do this last chunk over here, and we're going to go check out another house real quick. All right. And our sewing kit just got worn out. Eight and five still. All right. You know what? That's not bad, though. Eight and five isn't bad at all. Uh, our sewing kit, I think, still shows up even when it's worn out. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it does. Okay. And that's a little bit of weight for us. I got my snares over here. I got two of them right now. Is there anything else I want to take with me? Um, let's see here. I'm going to leave a lot of this here. Take one more sewing kit just because. I'm going to leave the cured gut there for right now. We don't need any of that. Um, I am going to take a couple of books like that right there. I don't really need all this wood. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take, I'm going to take all those. What we are going to get rid of, though, is most of this wood because we're gonna we're gonna have plenty of wood for the most part there we go all right we're beneath our burden let's see if we can get out of here without getting jacked by a wolf see how well we do all right how's it outside not bad all right now i'm not crouching right now there's a there's a door right there so if we need to use it we can a lot of times there's a wolf on that berm right there into the car we go. A lot of times I've utilized this car for hiding from wolves. Uh, so me and this car have a long standing history together. I'm gonna open up these visors. Just because. Just because I can. You can see our condition doing slightly better. We're getting a little bit more every day. Ooh, look at this trunk over here. Could be something inside. Not today. All right. Now I think I think there may be some stuff down the way. See this right over here? Little house on the prairie right here. Let's go check her out, baby. These little houses, man, you got to check all these houses because there's always good stuff in here. This is why this zone is so good. Oh, yeah. Look at it all. Sitting there. More freaking curtains. I'll take all your curtains. Give them to me. Good. Good. Nice fireplace in here. If you want to use this as a base of operations. If you like using a fireplace. A lot of people use the gas station because there is a crafting area in it. So it's kind of good for that. If we can find some canned goods. Oh, always check up here. There's sometimes like some stuff laying up here. Uh, in the other modes, there's usually some matches and stuff like that. Let's go into the kitchen first. A lot of cabinets in this kitchen. A lot of cabinets right for the picking. Come on, baby. Help a brother out. You know you want to. Come on, what do we got? One in ten, right? One in ten chance? I don't know if that's true or not. I just made that up, but... Just from playing Interloper, it feels like a, about a one in ten chance. Of finding something for everything that you could hit with a spawn. How about inside the microwave? Nada! Over here by this cabinet. Should we be graced? We are not graced with anything. How about a piece of meat? Perfect. Nice! Ba Ooh, banged up, huh? 25%. Holy crap. Those are in terrible, terrible condition. I'm not really happy about that. 
we do happen to have a uh, a thingy. You know what it is. A can opener. That's what it is. We do happen to have a can opener to make good use of so that we can get into those pinnacle peaches should we need to. I don't really want it to go below 25% that much. So I may even bust into it soon. As a matter of fact, how quickly is it going down right now if we go over here to it? This pack is getting kind of heavy. Mm, still 25%. Look at how heavy it is though. Half a kilogram for those. So be careful about that. You can bust all this stuff down by the way. Look at all the table, the chairs, everything. So much reclaimed wood. So much reclaimed wood if you want it. Sometimes what people will do is they'll come into these houses, they'll bust everything down while they're here, and they'll just leave it inside the house. So that later on, like it's an efficient use of their time inside of that structure. The only reason I'm not really doing that is because... Come in handy. Okay. That's a good find. Is because I want to get stuff a little bit more done. So, liter and a half of water. Wow. Alright. I'll drink toilet water. I'm not too good for toilet water. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that right there. Thermal underwear and accelerant inside of the bathtub. Wow. Talk about lucky. Okay. Uh, dress shirt four and eight compared to five and five, huh? So four and eight technically is a better a better deal. Um, this plaid shirt though, huh? I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought the plaid shirt would be more impressive than that. Oh, it's cotton. That's why. It's the Mackinac jacket. That's the good one. We're probably going to have to break that down. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost missed him. You guys were yelling. Make a comment. Make a comment if you were yelling right there. I'm sure I missed other stuff, so you, you can yell at me for that. But those matches, man. You never look a gift mat match in the mouth or whatever the saying is. I'm going to tell you something. All right. Got some more cloth. All this. Empty, empty, empty. All right, all that's empty around here. Looking good. You can bust down the table, I'm pretty sure. Yep, sure can. You can bust down that table. You can bust down, well, the curtains, obviously. You bust down those shelves right there, too. Uh, the only issue about this is it's very hard to see underneath the bed sometimes. You have to get, like, a really, really jacked up angle to see under it appropriately. Okay, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy right now. We can go ahead, we can get some more of these curtains if we want, but man, we are doing freaking slick right now. Condition's okay. Day's going by pretty good. We can grab a sip of water real quick, because Lord knows we got plenty of it right now from all the toilet water. More matches, m better clothes. It's just better all around. As a matter of fact, you know what? Before we call it an episode, before we call it an episode, I'm gonna break down two more curtains. We're going to step outside, and we're going to see if it is still three arrows down all the time. Now, it doesn't mean that it's not just nicer outside, but it could be that our clothing is doing something. One arrow down. Look at that. One arrow down. There's a wolf right there looking at us sideways. All right, guys. Hope you're enjoying the long, dark, and the interloper mode. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>